Prime Mary One children, I once again welcome you to this lesson of mathematics. Please, my good children, I welcome you from the short break that you've been having, the short, uh, the short period that you've been having without getting this uh, video shooting. Please, I want you to pay attention. This lesson is going to be very interesting, very good as we are going to see. It is all about time. You remember last time we, we started up looking at time and last time we looked at some of the vocabularies about time and our vocabularies were a minute hand, that is a short minute hand, a short, a, a short power hand and a long minute hand. That's what we, we saw last time. But now we are going to look at something slightly different from what we looked at the other time. Please, I want, I beg you to pay attention for today's lesson. Um, today we are going to look at telling exact time. Exactly. Uh -huh. We are going to look at telling exact time. Without any minutes uh, passing, we are going to look at exact time. Examples here, we tell time on the following clock faces. To give you an example of a clock face, maybe if you have at home, this is an example of a clock face. At least if you have, if you have it at home, you can see and get to understand and get to know how to tell time using uh, the clock faces. Here we are having one of the examples of our two-dimensional clock faces. This mine are just drawn on the board. Mm -hmm. We are going to look at how do you tell time when the long minute hand is facing in 12 and the short hour hand is facing in the LED. This is what we are going to see. When, if you see that the long because when if if we are if we are to name this long one is what you call the minute hand and this short one is what you call the hour hand. Uh huh. When you see and when you, when you reach up any extent and you find that the long minute hand is facing in twelve exactly, and the short minute hand is facing in any degree. We, dis we describe time as the exact time when the long minute hand is facing in 12 and the short hour hand is facing in any digit. Uh -huh. Example 1 is saying, uh -huh, describe tail time. Here, because the short minute, the short hour hand is facing in 3 and the long minute hand is exactly facing in 12, we describe this time as it is say it is it is three o'clock it is three o'clock that's how we describe our time when we say that it is three o'clock when the short power hand is facing exactly in three and the long minute hand is exactly facing the top that's when we say it is three o'clock it is exactly three o'clock that's how we describe it yes my children we go to our part b of our examples part b we look at part b the long minute hand is facing 12 but the short minute hand is facing in two. If you try to see, this short minute hand is facing in two. Uh -huh. The short hour hand is facing in two. Uh -huh. Please let us describe this. What is it? Uh -huh. The short hour hand is facing in two and the long minute hand is facing in two. Please, I want you to give me the answer. Uh -huh. We shall see that our answer is we say it is two o'clock. Why are we saying it is two o'clock? Because the short power hand is facing in the two and the long minute hand is facing in the trough. Thank you very much, my children, for paying attention. Let us look at our last ex 
example, and our last example, um, the long minute hand is facing in 12 exactly, and the short power hand is exactly facing in 8. The short power hand is exactly facing in 8, and the long minute hand is exactly facing in 12. How do we tell time here? We are going to say that it is it it is it is eighty o'clock. Why are we saying that it is eight o'clock? The reason is the short power hand is exactly facing in eight, and the long minute hand is exactly facing in 12. Thank you, my good children of primary one. Uh, I want you to understand this concept properly. Thank you very much. If you do have any question, please, you ask the neighbor, you ask your guardian, or you ask any person who is near you to help you. All you can, call me back so that I help you to tell time using the clock faces. Please, my good children, let us meet in the next lesson after this one. Thank you.